Lots of kind of rumourings and pontifications about whether or not we're heading for a blackout this winter. The head of National Grid says that households, we do need to be ready. Uh, get this, though, potentially in January and February, uh, between 4 and 7 p.m. I'm not happy with that, of course, because what do you all do between 4 and 7 p.m.? Watch TV news, not least, tubes and curse. We can't be having any of this. Uh, James Woodhausen, this is perhaps, some might say, one of your areas of expertise. You've written a book uh, on energy, uh, particularly around green energy and things like that. What do you make to all of this? Well, I think it's very disturbing. I mean, it's fair enough for you to joke that GB News might not be on, but when we're looking at hospital equipment uh, powered by electricity... Uh, we haven't heard a guarantee that that's going to be working between four and seven in the afternoon in the uh, coldest months of the year. I think it could be the national grid. Uh, yeah, but hang on, because on that point of like hospitals and things like mm -hmm. that, I thought that in the event of um, any any uh, blackout, there would be so-called critical infrastructure that was almost exempt from some of this stuff. So I would have imagined that things like hospitals and things like that would be exempt. Well, one would hope. But, you know, uh, with this government, the promises, uh, like with triple lock, are not necessarily delivered, Michelle. So I, I haven't seen any plan uh, for maintaining not just hospitals, but factories mm. uh, and all the other stuff that goes on on the back of gas and on the back of fossil fuels. So it's a very worrying development. They, what I was going to say is they may be trying to prepare public opinion for blackouts that are not done actually at the coldest time just about in the year and, and when people really need uh, uh, heat and so on. But their own forecasting at the national grid is very, very poor and they're not to be trusted. I have a 2015 bar chart from the national grid saying that micro generation, that's uh, solar panels and heat pumps uh, in, in your home would account for five gigawatts, um, 10 gigawatts. They were actually going up to 20, 30, 40 gigawatts. In fact, the total now for today, what they were predicting for today was 30 or 40, and we've got about 10. So that small scale approach, very different from gas, is, uh, has gone nowhere. And therefore, I don't trust any of their forecasts about power cuts for the new year. I'll tell you what I don't really trust. Uh, people that are trying to plant a seed in public opinion to be mindful of uh, electricity that you use, while simultaneously, I don't know if I've got this picture to show uh, you guys because it was something that made me chuckle, so it did. Um, the National Grid, they're coming out there. They're setting our expectations. I'm showing it on the screen now. They're setting our expectations that, you know, we might have to be mindful of electricity use. Well, I don't know if you can see your screens right now. If you're listening rather than watching, you won't be able to. But this is uh, one of their HQs uh, lit brighter than a Christmas tree.